Is it true that you are what you eat? Everyone knows that eating good, healthy food is necessary for an optimal life and to feel and look healthy. But let's look closely at the phrase, you are what you eat. This isn't only about food. This is about everything you let into you, to your body, psyche, mind and soul. This includes music you are listening to, videos you are watching and all the information that you amass. The first thing to be mindful about here is the quality of what you are consuming overall. For example, if you want to feel happy and energized, I don't think it is a good idea to go and listen to sad songs. If you are in the midst of establishing your business, you won't be going for advice to someone who's all the time complaining about business, how difficult it is and how it will never work. I believe you got the idea. The second thing to consider is having proper permission. It is common sense that for food, you go to supermarket or to store to do your groceries, meaning that you are paying for it or someone from your family does. Then my question to you would be if you are mindful about the content you're consuming here on YouTube, on other platforms or even offline, if it is really coming from the original author with the permission for it to be shared and consumed freely. Are you watching dramas and series on free illegal streaming websites instead of the lawfully available paid services? These actions that might look small and invisible to some actually might impact you and your life. Infringing someone else's right might lead to you losing a right of yours. This could be a linear equation as it could be non-linear. For example, if it is linear, someone might steal your idea or your answer. If it is non-linear, this could be impacting one of your rights. Let's say, for example, your freedom since your family or a member on your family is restricting where you can go, where you can go out or travel, or even, for example, the right to choose the major that you want to study. So please keep this in mind and reevaluate. The third thing to pay attention to is the usage. Are you interested in improving yourself and seeking information on how to do it? Do you spend hours reading books and articles, watching videos, or going and attending conferences? Do you happen to have one of these reactions that I'm gonna name when you are doing any of these activities? Like, oh, I already know about this information. Oh, that tip, I already know about it. Ah, I'm already aware about that information. Well then, my question to you, are you using this information? Are you implementing it? Are you applying it in your life? Or are you just letting this knowledge rot inside of your mind or just using it to boost whenever you are in a conversation with acquaintances or friends? And consider this a food for thought so that you can reassess. I would like to close here by a quote by Emmett Fox. It is the food which you furnish to your mind that determines the whole character of your life.